All right, so just a little talk for those who just uh, uh, just logged on for this live stream. Day eight of counting for Hela uh, in session. Now, of course, the new counting venue that's been set up here is specifically for Magarima. They're counting the Magarima uh, regional boxes with Upper Wagi LLG going first. And uh, you've just witnessed the prayer uh, being said and by the Assistant Provincial Returning Officer, Mr. Silas Tokale, currently giving, just uh, setting up the counting venue. Now, this is for the original seat, as I mentioned. So, this particular uh, venue, this counting station for Upper Wage LLG. And as you can see, these particular boxes are destined to be counted. They'll be counted specifically for Upper Wage LLG. Now, just across from the boxes and just across from the uh, Abawage or Magrima Counting Center. Now, of course, yesterday, so uh, this is the original counting center for the Hella Regional Seat. Yesterday, saw the completion of the uh, regional tally uh, that was done for Korba Kopiago, North Korba. Now, unfortunately, they haven't done uh, Kopiago boxes as yet. As you all know, six boxes altogether for Kopiago were actually counted. From the six boxes that were counted for Copiago, 13 are in dispute. In particular, 12 exactly. 12 are some of the key boxes that are in dispute as such. Now, for the time being, we're currently waiting for uh, directions from the election manager who is currently seeking uh, a decision from the electoral commissioner regarding those 12 boxes for uh, Copiago as such. Now, so today was supposed to proceed with Copiago, the six Copiago boxes being counted, but unfortunately that's not happened due to uh, us waiting for the four further instructions from 
uh, the electoral commissioner and election manager at this juncture. Now, at the moment, currently, they are, they've moved on. So this particular station has moved on to Komohulia now. So at the moment, they are counting the Komohulia uh, votes, pardon me, the Komohulia boxes. Uh, in particular, this morning, this counting venue is going through Mount Sisa LLG. So the Mount Sisa LLG box is being counted. This is for the regional count altogether. I'll be bringing you updates now. For those of you who didn't uh, catch the ups updates yesterday for the regional uh, count, I've uploaded that yesterday. So check the videos uh, from yesterday that I uploaded regarding the regional figures as such. And I think uh, the sitting governor currently maintains a lead on, I think, 73,000 plus. I could be wrong, but it's roughly around the 70,000 70, mark. The nearest rival, uh, Thomas, pardon me. Francis Potape on 22,000 as such. Uh, so those were the rough, uh, so the rough figures I'm giving you on the update that I did yesterday. Now, if you look further up, just across, currently the for Magrima, they finished for the Magrima count. They finished doing the quality checks yesterday for upper, lower, upper and lower wagon. Now, currently at the moment, today we'll see them uh, proceed with elimination. As for Como Julia, now as I mentioned, yes, Como Julia was the one that was giving me a bit of trouble because the figures, uh, particularly for Como LG, wasn't coming out right. Now, unfortunately, they are still doing quality checks for Julia LLG. So for our viewers, unfortunately, I can't give you the final figures for Julia, for Como Julia. Though I can update you on, uh, uh, for the respective LLGs of Mount Sisa and uh, for Julia, though I can't uh, actually give you the overall figure altogether, so maybe I'll skip that. For Magarima, as I mentioned, they'll be heading into their uh, elimination today. Copiago currently at the moment, just, uh, pardon me, Corba Copiago just on standby, awaiting the decision on those 12 ballot boxes that have been disputed uh, for Copiago LLG altogether. Uh, but uh, today, of course, saw the uh, big group of uh, counting officials actually being sent uh, home, particularly for for Mount Sisa and for Como, because the Julia boxes still have to undergo their uh, quality checks today. Now, once that's done, tomorrow we'll see uh, Como Julia kick off their elimination. But today, we will see the elimination round for uh, Magarima starting this. But apart from that, the regional count should be progressing quickly now with two counting centers being set up. Just on uh, this one, the new one for Magarima, Hapa Wage LLG being counted. I think that's uh, 19 boxes altogether that, that uh, will be counted either today or completed tomorrow, and then they'll move on to Lower Wage as such. Just on uh, the other side, as I mentioned, they've started the Como Julia. LLG, they're counting currently the boxes from Mount, C Mount Sisa. Mount Sisa currently has maintained about 12 boxes altogether. With that being said, just bringing you some of the scenes today, our security personnel on ground as such, and of course our counting, polling, accounting personnel as well. Currently going through. So I'll be bringing you updates once I've confirmed the uh, quality check for Como Julia. As I mentioned, for me, the biggest headache for me has been Como Julia trying to get the actual figures down. So once I've sorted that one out, I'll be giving up this. But stay tuned as I bring you some of the uh, some of uh, my final figures for Magrima altogether before they head into elimination. And then, of course, Corba Copiago, the progressive so far, despite uh, us waiting for the official word regarding the 12 boxes from Corba Copiago. But speaking of which, I will be having a chat shortly with Mr. Joseph Kappa, the RO, original officer for, uh, pardon me, returning officer for Koroba Kopiago. So stay tuned for that. He'll be giving us just uh, just an update on what exactly has been the word on those 12 boxes uh, that have been disputed. So altogether from uh, Kopiago, only six boxes counted so far. That's the update that I've given. So stay tuned for that. With that being said, bring you more updates later on today. I'm Kalligan Tanda, live from the counting center, the Hela counting center in Tari, uh, in Tari town, uh, in Hela, on this, uh, how should I say, overcast day. 
And uh, please stay tuned for more updates on our FM 100 page. KRP Stewart, Bible take you through. Judah Mamafu, thanks very much for the feedback on the sound, my brother. Have a top morning. And uh, very, very importantly, let me say one more thing. Uh, for those in uh, Tari at the moment, yesterday, of course, we saw the uh, BSP Bank being uh, shut down due to uh, just, I think uh, there was a rumor that uh, an unrest might happen. And as such, BSB had to close its uh, operations yesterday. Today, it's been open as of 9 o'clock. This morning, business is usual for those wishing to do banking in uh, Tari. This morning, and traveling into Tari, BSB is open. A big good morning to the BSB team there, led by uh, Henry and uh, the BSB staff, providing a vital service to Papua New Guineans here in Hela province and uh, surrounding areas in Tari as such. And once again, a big good morning to all our security personnel currently providing security to uh, provinces and areas that are polling and those that are counting as well. Big blood, thank you, true. You blood, ensuring this class security blow display election. Now, me, you blood, lose more family, no, got the line long way penis. But these are the scenes this morning from Tari. I'll be bringing more updates later on with uh, the elimination starting for Magrima. With that being said, I am Callaghan Tanda this morning, coming to you live from Tari. God bless.